Hello. <laughs> What's going on, Hannon? Get everybody updated. Don't mind his tiny black eye. Uh, well, we're moving. We're not gonna tell you where just yet, but our house is sold as of, I think as of today, our house is sold and we are moving from Kenora. We're not moving that far. This place has been beautiful. I think, uh, I think what's gonna be the most sad is giving up my dream garage and also having a school right across the street for Hannon. But we'll, we'll share the new place. We're moving in August. Hannon, what other exciting news do we have? What's tomorrow? What's going on tomorrow? How old are you turning? One. Hey, you oh, mail. Old. Oh, mama went to go look at mail. She neglected you. Is this for him? Sam's got mail, she's very excited. He's getting his birthday gift early. Hi. This was not planned. <gasps> look. Fidget spinners, you gonna catch a muskie with it? Oh, wow. So. Look it. 12 months plus, you can't play with it until tomorrow. So Hannon started crawling uh, a week ago. He gets into so much trouble now. Everyone said enjoy the stage when the kids aren't able to move and yes. Now that he's moving, he is a terror. He pulled a vacuum cleaner down on his face. Uh, That's how he got the shiner uh, right before his birthday. We're but good parents. We are decent parents. Anyways, this video is a little bit of an update. We're going to meet my parents in the boat launch. We got Hannon coming along. I don't know the last time Hannon was at the outpost. We were headed down to Uncle Mark's outpost. We're gonna do some fishing today. Yeah, we're gonna do the changeover. Guest. What? We got a special guest. Who's the special guest? Oh, and we have a special guest. Oh my gosh, we forgot him in the vehicle. We didn't actually forget him in the vehicle. We got a window rolled down. Well, Sam's been bugging me. She says, when can I get a dog? When can I get a dog? I locked the door. Oh. And, well, we have a dog for at least a couple days. We're, we're dog sitting, so. Sam's getting her fix. I'm not ready for a full-time dog, but. All right, we get to go? No, 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 no. We're going on the boat. Sorry, I do need to introduce you to the special guest. <laughs> the one and only, Bodie. All right, can we go now? You've done all your intros, all your filming? You gonna back the boat in today? I'm not, no. Nope. All geared up, you Luma Craft. There, they're at the ramp ready. And this truck's been so nice. Shout out West Coast, Team Fui, and Bodhi. Rah. Okay, you're on filming duty. This doesn't get old. Woo! The baby. Okay. The bump. We got a dog. We, go. we got mom okay. and dad, grandma and grandpa. <laughs> I never thought I'd have a dog in my boat. It looks good though, doesn't it? Okay, okay. So yes, we are doing some work at Uncle Mark's, but the, the main thing is a family fishing day today. Feels like every time I brought people down to the outpost, it's been work, 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 work. We are gonna put the sheets on for changeover. Our first group has come and gone. Um, we'll probably show some highlights from that in a different video, but today we're gonna go catch some walleyes as a fam. Try to keep Hannon alive for his first birthday. <laughs> Not crazy the, fast though. How fast? 30. 30? Like like how long do you want it to take? <laughs> Good morning, Hannon. Good morning. Welcome to the outpost. You slept good. <laughs> we got gas. We are back. Hi. What do you think about this place, Hannon? Hannon actually just stood for the first time on the coffee table on his own. At Uncle Mark's. All right, well, we're giving you a little glimpse, a little glimpse of the tour here. Our first guests have come and gone, and one of the points of feedback we got was how amazing the beds were. So that's a perfect segue into our sponsor for this video, Helix. Have you slept on one of these beds yet? It is time for Sam to sleep on one of these beds, maybe in the next couple weeks. But we got five beds upstairs. What are these, two? What are these size again, Sam? Two doubles. Two doubles. Three twins. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> and a queen downstairs. Helix, couple things that I loved how it works so well with this project was it was a bed in a box, so it made it very easy to bring them in this winter by snow machine. A couple other things. If you want to try out a Helix, you can get a free 100-day trial. 
100 sleeps, which is a lot. I can say after talking to the guests, they love them. I've only spent a couple nights in them, but I think I like them <laughs> more than my bed at home and at this outpost in the middle of the lake. So definitely the bed in the box made it super good. If you wanna order one of these, I got a code for 20% off. You can go onto the website and do the Helix quiz. That's what I did. It'll give you, depending on what type of sleeper you are, your specific, uh, you know, mattress. They've got different firmnesses if you're side sleeper, back sleeper, all that stuff. Uh, for myself, for choosing for the outpost, I just picked the average across the board because obviously there's gonna be a lot of people staying here. Um, can I lay on these beds that you just made, Sam? Well, they're clean. They are clean. Pillows as well, that's probably like, one of my favorite parts is the pillows that come with these mattresses. They are amazing, like a memory foam style pillow. <laughs> I can't believe you. <laughs> Sam just made the bed. That's disgusting. <laughs> these Helix mattresses are amazing. Pillows are amazing. Yeah, I'm excited for more people to enjoy this when they come to the outpost because a good a good mattress can set the tone for your day for your trip um because i've slept on some pretty sketchy mattresses at different fishing lodges and camps over the years just got to say thanks once again to helix for hooking up the outpost with these beautiful beds and sponsoring this video 100 day trial they got financing a 10-year warranty comes free shipping in the states bed in a box to your door so anyways we're going to finish cleaning and maybe hannah's going to go catch some walleyes Good job on making the bed, Sam. How long do you think a changeover is going to take altogether? If you're doing it by yourself, everything. Couple hours. Couple hours, yeah. Yeah. Do you think you get it done between 10 and 2? Yeah. Because that's what we told people. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Like doing the beds was so much faster because last time I had two sets of everything and you kind of yeah. had to like. And now you'll just bring one set next and time. And now this one just went really fast because I only had one set. Yeah, so we bought two sets of everything so then we can just show up, change it, wash the other set. All that good stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, let's go see what the rest of the crew's up to. Hannon, are you gonna put your? Don't put your finger in the outlet. Don't do it. Don't. Bad baby. There he goes. All right. Well, we'll give you a little little look through later, but we are going fishing. That was the main one of the main points of this trip. Had to do the changeover though, because it's gotta be clean for our next group. But I know I haven't really done in-depth run through yet. There's still a couple things we need to get done, so that will happen shortly. But we're going, we're going family fishing time. What are you doing in the front of the boat? This might be too big, Jay. Thank you, Mark Telly, for the gift. We got a full boat today. We got dogs lapping out of the front. We got babies almost half asleep. asleep. Can you pass the walleye jig box from underneath you? Take it. From the handy dandy gear box. Good job. And then what color you want to use? Pink. Let's go pink. All right, we'll go pink. Is this your first minnow of the season? Yeah. What's the technique? Is it hook it by the head or hook it by the tail? Only silly people hook them by the tail. Ooh, he's got bumps in through the mouth. There's probably 20 oh, walleyes underneath the, the front of the boat right now. Stab him at the side. Excuse me. Look at all those fish, Sam. And you're too busy just talking to the camera. Oh. Liverin's in. Sam's in. Tries to even call one by now. I did. <laughs> Get him in the boat. Perfect eater. That'll eat. Damn Bodie, it. what do you think? He likes to lick them. Yes. Annan, what do you think? He oh! oh, oh. <laughs> Put this in the live well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dad's on. Oh, that guy's a little small. Throw that guy back. Come on, Sam. Give me a second. No, my minnow. Gentle. Again, we're here without a net, Jay. I know, I know. This is, I think, my third time in a row for getting the net. Another one. We're just fishing off the edge of an island here. Not, it doesn't look that good on the map, but there's a little bit of current hitting it, and I've just seen fish stacked up here. Another one. It's just stacked up there. There's a lot of fish down there. Yeah, I'll probably throw that guy back. We're catching so many fish, I think we'll catch a little bit bigger to keep. There you go. Hey, this is, is there a button I have to press? Jeez. This is pretty fast, eh? Sounds good. Keep that guy. Bodie, you want to give it a lick? 
Give me a nice hold. Show me your your bounty. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Any any fish? Any fish? What's that? Oh. oh. <laughs> Sam is just hauling them in. Are you just gonna throw that one back? Sam, Cam, Sam, Cam. Sam, Cam, Sam, Cam. It is time for Sam, Cam. The return of the Sam, Cam. I could look like a dope. Oh, that's, good. that's tight on my head. That's pretty heavy. I know. Sam, Cam's back. Dad's missing fish. Sam's looking like a dork. <sighs> you think we have endless bait? Um. Recycling this guy very well. I would toss a little more in front of the boat, Sam. Right off the nose. So I can catch more <laughs> fish? <laughs> I'm doing just fine here, Jay. Wow, is there so many fish? Ooh. We're using the flop box. New bait bucket I got. It's like a mini hard-sided cooler, but on the side. It's got a lithium battery. And it bubbles your minnows. Look at this. And then you can also put a, a cooler lid on the top, so you could use it as a cooler. But then this little tray you can pull out. You have a tough time getting your bait. Do you want a big minnow, Sam? Medium minnow? Dead one? Sure. Or are you expecting me to put it on? Yeah, they're hot, hey? Does your neck get sore from this? Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Do you remember that big camera you, you, with oh, your yeah. helmet? Look, 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 watch. What? There's your lure. Yes, I know. Have you been watching it? No, but I don't need to. Oh, he's coming up fast. I think he might have just eaten it. I think he's on it. Slat him in. Mm -hmm. We might just start keeping soon though. Did you mean that one? Oh, ho, 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 look at all those. That outfish sham. Oh, I wish I had Just so casual. Do you want to keep him? Too small. Uh, it's probably a little small. Okay. There we go. Sam, I finally got one. Good job, sweetie. But it's the biggest. Oh, wow. A good one? That is the biggest. Nice fish. It's a little bit close to my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what is that orange stuff on the fish? He was sucking on some crayfish. He had a crayfish in his mouth. What's the orange though? Crayfish. This right here? Crayfish. Smell it. Don't touch me. Smell it. Don't. Smell. Give it a little sniff. Go away. Nice. Yeah. Bring him in. Bring, Bring him, him in. in. There we go. Another one for the team. Who's there, Andy? Who's there? Hello. Um, you keep fishing, I'll take Annie. We won't take pictures of you. You look hot. Are you warm? Oh, you like, look it. Look, Papa. Yeah. <laughs> Is this good footage? You like Mama's hat? You don't think it makes her look like a loser? They are good. This one feels decent. Another one for the team. We got a storm coming in. This might get interesting. That, oh, what is it? that got wicked dark. We can see above right now. That's on. Nice. Where you going? Oh, this is bigger. Okay. Jake feels okay. pretty big. Okay. Oh. Good job. Yeah. Right. Annan says we're done. done. Alright. We got a crying so baby. Time to go. Alright, uh, storm's coming. Let me put this away. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we have a cabin we know we can stay at close by. Yeah.
Brody, do you like it here? Have you been playing in the mud? Yes. Yeah, you're a good camp dog. Maybe we'll leave you here. Well, a couple things we've been working on. We told Paul after our first group, we said, Paul, be honest with us, what is wrong? That's one of the things I learned from Olson Lake Lodges. If you don't tell us what the problem is, we can't fix it. The worst case is when someone goes home, something wasn't right, and they stew on it, it bothers them. It's like, if we don't know what's wrong, we can't even make it right. So that's what I told Paul. I said, you gotta be brutally honest. Overall, Paul didn't have anything too major on the list of things. We did some issues with the solar system, some of our settings. We brought some uh, solar experts in from Regenerate, a local company that did some troubleshooting. We think we got some of the solar stuff figured out. We'll probably go more into depth on that in another video, but that was probably the biggest issue. They had to run the generator bit, wasn't a big deal. Another thing they mentioned was garbage storage. Obviously, there's a lot of wildlife out here. So Spencer started making a little garbage box. That will be done by the time the next guest comes. So it'll be somewhere they can store the garbage because yeah, sometimes you bring a lot of stuff. There's a lot of garbage afterwards. So you need somewhere to store it rather than just letting it pile up in the cabin. But just look how amazing it's looking right now, guys. After a little rainfall, this place is spectacular. Oh, and look who it is. Mr. Hanny. Bang, 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 bang. Isn't he beautiful? Baby Jay right there. So good having my parents out here. That is part of the moving announcement. It does involve my parents, but we'll save that for next time. But we do have to go home, but there's someone named Mark who's a workaholic. We'll see if we can drag him out of this. Three seasons room. Are we gonna have to grab you? Almost. Grab you by your legs? Got one more. One more board? One more board and a couple screws. Mark's been working on uh, the three seasons room, the outside. We had a little bit of siding to finish up. Yeah, it's beautiful. Something we do want to mention too, these security cameras, the real link security cameras, we do unplug them when guests are here. We, we keep them plugged in between groups, but when guests are here, we turn them off. Obviously privacy thing, there's, you know, we just want it for when, we want it for when no one's here, but look at this grass too. This is that stuff that Taylor, planted and it is lush. We need we need a lawnmower here. Amazing. So yeah, as you can see, the trim on the outside is done. All that beautiful board and batten right there. Three Seasons is kind of more of a spring fall type room that, and it's just like for gear overflow. So that was kind of the last thing to get done and not a room you would have wanted to use last group with how hot it was. People were making full use of that AC, but eventually we'll put some flooring in here, but right now it's just a place you store your gear. Sam did a great job making the beds, doing one last tidy. What do you think, Sam? The bass looks good. Every spick and speck is gone. You just threw it on the floor. Spick and speck? Yeah, but you can't see it on the floor. Oh, and the carpet, it disappears? What do you think of this place? You gonna vlog? What do you want to say to the camera? Hannah, what do you have to say? Do you see the screen? Eh. All right, that's a wrap. Uh, showed to Helix and their nice mattresses. And I would like to spend a week down here sleeping on those mattresses. But uh, we will be back to Uncle Mark's outpost and to do some more fishing. And it was nice to see Sam back behind the rod setting some hooks. She did all right. Next time, next time we'll let Mark fish too. She did all right, I carried the team. <laughs> and don't forget, don't forget to wear your, wear life, your life jackets. jackets. <laughs> and pick up your trash. All together. Say bye, Bodie. <laughs>